Hey everybody, this is Firegun522 here with my 13th Hammer Editor tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, how to add HDR into your maps so you have like a like in like a real life example if you fall asleep and like I don't know two hours later you wake up look into a light and the light's like fucking super bright. Yeah, well, pretty much this is going to be your that in game. But I don't think you're going to be sleeping in your game. Anyways, go ahead and go to Tools, Source SDK, load that up. Once it's open, choose your engine version, choose your game. Now, before I go on, I must tell you that Half-Life 2, right here, on the uh, on the orange box, or actually on the Source engine, does not support HDR. So you cannot make HDR for your Half-Life 2 maps. You can make it for your Episode 1 or Episode 2. Counter-Strike Source, Dave Def Feet source, I think. But yeah. Okay, so once you have your game that's your whatever, go ahead and load up Hammer Editor. Once that's loaded up, open up your map that you want to add HDR into. For this, I just made a little quick sample. I didn't really touch it up too much. Okay, so first thing we start off with is we go to Map, Map Properties. Alright, and we gotta choose a skybox. If you guys can remember the <clears throat> skybox tutorial. I taught you how to find a skybox. Well, if your map, like, okay, if your skybox is like, I don't know, something like sky day 01 underscore 05 or something like that, you have to add HDR at the end of it. So it would look like this. Otherwise, the skybox will look all retarded looking, so. But anyways, I'm using the sky underscore episode 2 underscore 01 underscore HDR. Oh, that's long. Okay, hit apply or whatever. Once you got that, go ahead and... Now we need to go ahead and set up the entities. So grab our entity creation tool. We're going to change the entity over here to logic underscore auto. Alright, and we'll just put that somewhere down the map. Now this pretty much will like load up there's just like an automatic thing, like once it's triggered or whatever, it'll be automatically do whatever you set it to. Like the button tutorial, I went over like if something is set to that. Okay, now we need to also need to get an environment tone map controller. I'll just place that down next to it. Alright, now we need to go to our tone map right here. Name it. I'm just going to name it tone map. <clears throat> once you have it named, Go back to our Logic Auto, go to Outputs tab, click on Add, and choose on Map Spawn, so that way when the, as soon as the map loads up, we choose Tone Map, okay, then we're going to need to choose our Set, uh, what is it, Set Auto Exposure Max, so this is going to be how bright it's going to let it get, so like, if you're in a dark area and... Then you suddenly like go outside and it's really fucking sunny. Then we gotta figure out what it is. I'm sorry for the rude language, but man. So I'm just gonna do a quick one. I don't know, maybe like 1.7 or no, that's too much. 1.5. All right, hit apply. I'm just gonna copy and paste. That way I can just change this to from max to min, and then I'm gonna do like 0 0.7. Now, if 0.7, what this is is pretty much if you're in a dark room. It'll let your eyes adjust to the lighting, and so you can see darker things clearer. Okay, now, what else do we need? There's another thing in here where we can pretty much change from, like, the exposure max to bloom. Or bloom scale. Or, wait, no, that's not it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, so pretty much what this is is pretty much... How should I put this in? Changes how... Well, it's like a, hmm, I don't know how to really explain this, but pretty much you look at something, and then you can see kind of like light coming off of it, like you can kind of see it reflecting, but it's like on top of it, sort of, but I don't want that right now for my map, so, yeah. Alright, so this little sample map, all you gotta do is hit F9 or run map, which is... Where was that? I forgot where that button was. Uh, wow, that's sad. 
Okay, your run map button is right here. So you hit this, and I forgot to save, so I'll do HDR tutorial. Alright, now there are several things you gotta do in the compile. Before you choose like fast, 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 HDR, and run, now there's several things you wanna do. Okay, run BSP. Well, okay, not several things you wanna do, but several things you can do. Run BSP, let that be normal, whatever. Run Viz, you can be normal or fast. Fast makes it lag more, not as optimized. And run Rad. Rad, okay, here is our lighting and stuff. Now, without this checked, you won't have HDR. It'll be LDR, which is low dynamic range. And so things won't, like, get bright or get dark. it just stay the same color. So we want this checked. I can do two things. You can run it normal or fast. Fast doesn't look as good, but normal is better. Now that even though it says bet or even though it says normal, we can change it. Go to expert and here's an HDR full compile. Which is pretty much like, like the last compile that you want to ever do on it. Like you've done all of the tests or whatever and you want to finish it and you compile with this. Alright, so once you compile it you should be able to load up your map and it'll look like the pictures in the side. I'll show you one without HDR and one with HDR, same map. Oh, and for the record, if anybody's wondering, yes, Half-Life 2 is LDR, which is low dynamic range. The light doesn't change. Okay, well, anyways, this is FireGuy522 here with my 13th tutorial teaching you how to add HDR into your map. Oh, snap, I almost forgot one thing. Your maps need environment, environment cube maps. And since I'm like wrapping this up at the last second, you place it pretty much in the center of the area that you want it to be in, which just so happens for me, the center of the map. It needs to be 64 units off the ground, so right here it would be 16, 32, 48, and then last one, 64. And this will cause your compile to be correct, because some of your weapons may not show up right. But since this is like this whole area, uh, if you're having different rooms and need to add one, pretty much the center of each room. Okay. I'll do more of this environment cube map tutorials later, but I not right now. This is HDR. All right. This has been Fargo 522 with my 13th hammer editor tutorial teaching you how to add HDR into your map. Have fun. Don't burn yourselves.